Oh, the projects never end here at Ice Age TV. There's always something to do. Always. Just got done putting together my really cool secretary wood table from Wood Market. That's going to publish here soon. But now, what are we doing? What are we doing now? You know what? I need to pull out my CVOST and put on the engine heat deflectors that I bought months ago. And yeah, my challenge in my shop and my life is I have so much stuff just getting things out to work on them. I really want to get the view of how you see like this, just this empty space on this CVO that I think needs to be replaced with that engine deflector right there, one of them right there. So I'm going to pull this out after I pull out other bikes to get it out where the gator is. And I'm going to show you how the before and after look on the CVST. I think it's a mistake that Harley didn't have these engine heat guards from the factory because it has just an empty look to it so stay tuned got the gator out with all the noise i saved you all the barking because they just love to chase the toys you notice that in my shop now we gotta i think what i do is slide out the breakout you can get the breakout down the alley here the alley out then i can get the cvo out as well and do i have to bring it all the way out i don't know yet but wow it's been so long since i've ridden my breakout and my fast johnny Oh, my gosh. Just get distracted buying all these Hondas, the trike, the cars, the trucks. Oh, my gosh. You know, just one thing. What is it about the Harley-Davidson product where it's always about the exhaust? What is it? I mean, sincerely, Harley-Davidson, I just think it's just that naturally aspirated V-twin air-cooled motor. I just uh, think over and over again, it's just so cool. So let's see here. We can get it started. Can I? Oh, wow. After getting on that motorcycle, I just want to go ride it now. I haven't been on that breakout in so long. And like I say, fortunately, my stature for me, the way I've got pretty long arms, kind of long legs, and I'm 5'10", but you believe it or not, there's a lot of people out there who just can't ride this breakout. My daughter can't ride it. My good friend Don and Gail came over. Same thing. Don's like, I just can't sit comfortably. My good friend Chris um, and Shannon... He got one. He got rid of it. But for me, I'm fortunate because just the way my body stature is, I have really long arms and I have long legs. My body just kind of really fits that well. I need to ride that thing. All right, let's get the CVST. Then I get the CVST out and be like, I got to ride this. I haven't ridden that thing in ages. But let's listen to this monster. This thing here, just that was just Reinhardt slip on exhaust. Anybody out there that's watching my channel, just so you know, that is not a head pipe exhaust. Meaning I didn't strip out the catalytic converter, catalytic converter. Uh, so it's just a slip on Reinhardt's mufflers. That's all it is. Same thing with this. Just slip on Reinhardt mufflers. No delete of the catalytic converter or anything like that. And this thing is very loud. Let's see what we got here. Make sure he's in neutral because boy, oh boy, if you try to start this thing in gear, it's gonna go launch, launch through my shop. <laughs> All right, got the bikes pulled out. Boy, I've been spoiled. <laughs> Danger of owning a, a, a trike motorcycle is, boy, you get so comfortable not having to really push around the weight. And these Harleys, they're, they're heavy. I mean, this is really about a 900-pound motorcycle. It's 850 and change fuel. I mean, so it's a 900-pound bike. If you have gear, and how do you like those rear saddlebag protectors that are matching the front? Um, highway bars. I love it. Looks really good. But here's what I'm talking about. See here, this has such a naked look. I don't know why Harley didn't take the time to put in these engine guard um, deflectors. 
because I just think that this here, and I just bought this off the internet. It's not really the exact same color as this, uh, this paint, even though it kind of looks like it. I mean, it's very similar, but it's kind of hard to see. But once again, this goes in here. Let me kind of get my phone. I'm trying to do this one handed without scratching everything up. But this is going to go in here like this here. See that? And I just think it gives a better look. Plus, it's going to protect the heat off the engine on my legs. But I just think it's such a cleaner look. And this is just, to me, an empty look. It looks terrible. And once again, I'm surprised Harley didn't get creative and put that on there. There's another thing for you to buy. And this is an aftermarket, very inexpensive part for anybody who's out there looking for it. It's very simple. There's sure to be pre-drilled holes right in there. And instructions are right over here. It looks really simple. It's just be screwing some screws in to the frame and bing, bam, done. So not really anything drastic about trying to figure out how to put it on, but it's more about anybody out there. I have some nice followers that really came to my channel because of this Harley CVUST. But anybody else out there has this product, you're going to see now, maybe you've already done it, but I think it's so badly needing. It just looks, it looks so tacky. You can see the frame. I mean, oh my gosh. All right. So the before and after look. Oh, it's a joke. It's always a joke. There's never anything ever simple. Never. It's always a pain in the ass. To get your hands in here to put these in, it's impossible. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to notch this right here. You're going to have to notch this to be able to get the screws, the bolts started. Because when you put this up in here, when you put this up in here like this, getting your hand behind this motor to get that, that bolt, it's about impossible. I see we have very small hands. I got big hands, so I forget it. So you put the little, you've got like an anchor that you put in a hole in the bottom, and there's already a pre-drilled hole up there. The bottom isn't the problem. It's the top is the problem. So I'm working on the opposite side of the exhaust because I just started the bike up, and if you have any brains, you want to start your engine up before you work on this because you burn yourself. So here's the little anchor thing that goes down here, Make sure per there's two holes. It's the outer, you can't even see it. It's so hard to see. There's two holes. It's the outer hole that you put this little like anchor thing here. See this here? It goes in that hole, but I can find it. I'm going left-handed, so it's very challenging for me to do this. Left-handed, but what you do, see there? It goes in the hole and you push it in and it's tight and that's your anchor for your bolt to the bottom. That's not the problem, it's up top Getting between the engine and it up here, it's very challenging. So I'm just gonna notch this. So I just took my metal cutting pliers and I notched it. So let's see if this does any better without screwing this thing all up. You'll end up scratching the hell out of this thing. All right, let's try it again. It's never simple, man. <laughs> if you work on things, you get it. It's never simple. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna thread this on right now. So she's already threaded. See, once you're inside here, Behind that plastic is extremely challenging. So I'm threading that on. So now my theory is this will just slide over that, push it on a little bit. If I cut it hard enough, I think I did, but I didn't. So well, it'll go. I think I'm gonna break it probably. Nope, gotta cut it more. All right, I took off some more. Let's see now if my theory plays out. I wanna try and accomplish it. There you go. So see now it's up there and it's off. So I can put the bottom one on and do this a lot easier. Now, if you're really smart, thread the bottom one on first, then slide the top one up top. See there? Look how much more cleaner this looks, and it's so close to the original paint. Wow. What a pain in the freaking ass. I'm having to come from the other side of the bike to do this. I have no idea how I'm going to get this done on this side. I mean, sure, somebody does this stuff all the time, probably figures out better than me, but it's beyond believable. Try and get your hands in here with tools to tighten this stuff down. I mean, this probably is put on before the engine's put in this thing. I have no idea. Well, thank God for that tool. Put that tool, no way, man. Never could've got up in there to do all that. What a freaking joke. What a 
What a freaking project. Beyond believable. If anybody thinks you're just going to put these things on one minute, forget it. So what's really weird is the right side is much easier to put on. The left side is more challenging. But I dropped the freaking bolt. <laughs> so I dropped the bolt. Somewhere in this, in this engine compartment is now a bolt and washer floating around. It's just Murphy's Law. Oh, well, so I had to get creative and create my own. Um, so I got creative. Got to notch that thing. But anyways, I think this looks night and day, day better on covering up that empty hole. So let me clean it up, make it look good, and take a picture. And Shazam, good bam, bam, Jesus Christ, what a project. I mean, as you get older in life, yeah, you get an attitude because it should have been just seemed so much simpler. It wasn't, but oh well, it is what it is. Got it on. I'm amazed how that color flows with, what do they call this, a javelin black or something? I, I can't remember, to be honest with you. Jade black, I think it is. So I think it looks so much cleaner, so much better. And yeah, for those who do mechanical skills every day of their life, He'll just do a wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and be done. It's not so much for me. I don't do it every day of my life, but I've got it done. That's the good news. I think that's really good. And many out there go, what is it? Here it is. It's a Ben Lari, Ben Lari from Amazon. I bought it off Amazon. It, this thing was like 13 or 20 bucks. Um, so you just have to go to Amazon and key in the Ben Lari heat shield deflectors, Harley Davidson. Pretty universal. They do show in some certain models different years on how you may have to use these clips. But this bike here already had in the upper end a pre-drilled out, ready to go, screw in the bolt. And on the bottom, you got to put in this little anchor thing. Look right here. It's uh, right here. You're putting these little anchors to uh, slides into the hole. Make sure you put it in the correct hole, though. There's a lot of holes down there in that frame. Make sure you line everything up before you start putting that little anchor you may put it in the one closest in you'd know it's the furthest one out so as always i hope this video helps you um make your harley davidson cvo st look cleaner and sharper once again i'm befuddled why did harley davidson not include that when you go to my other motorcycles here you see that they are included so the fast johnny the heat shield protector is included the harley davidson uh, Harley Davidson uh, Street Clyde ST that's included. Why didn't they include that? It makes no sense to me. That's just stupid. It's just the little things that irk the hell out of you, doesn't it? All right, back to the fun time. What's next? I don't know. What do I get motivated to do now? The job would have made the job been much easier had I had the bike on the lift and it was up in the air. I was talking about that in my last video. If the bike was up in the air, I would be more easy. Versus, I just got up and down off my hands and knees. You know. 20, 30, 40 times. That gets so old to crawl around your hands and knees. That's what wears you out, is having to lay down on the bike and then get back up. So once again, God bless. Hope everybody has a great Sunday afternoon. It's football day, but it's bike day for me. It's fun day of the how-to and have some fun projects. I need to go ride on my motorcycle, don't I?